All right, well, not surprisingly, I've been hearing from several people that today's Dortal, Cordal, and Octortal are once again interesting, especially the Cordal and Octortal. Um, so I'm gonna take a look at those, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, and I also had a comment from somebody that said they just started playing Wordle games recently, and their starting words are table and rosin, and I don't know if those are terrible words, but it's what I use, is what they said. So let's see if they're terrible words or not. Why not? Um, I actually think table and rosin is a decent kind of two-word start like I, like I usually like to use. Um, it's going to have uh, four of the vowels. It's going to have all of the R, S, T, L, and E, actually, the Wheel of Fortune letters. Um, so, you know, several good letters. I think it's pretty good for a two-word start. Well... Didn't go so well this time. Okay, well, that's better. Now, interesting, we've got nothing on the left. Okay, so there's gotta be probably a U, maybe a Y. Um, obviously, U and Y are the next letters we wanna use, probably. So, the question is, what should we do? Um, you know, something like print would work, actually, on the right. Um... But, there's probably several other things it could be. So do we want to jump to print, or do we want to do... Like, a couple of those letters in those places, as well as some new letters for the left. Because if we do print, it's really only helping us with the right, unless there happens to be a P on the left. You know, I mean, we could do something like punch instead. Now that is mostly helping us with the left, then. Looking for new letters. It's a new spot for the N on the right. And, I mean, we do only have four of the five letters, so some new letters could be good. I do think it could be print. Let's do punch. Okay. Okay. So I do think it's print then, because it is P, and then it's not going to be PT, right? It's not going to be PN. So it's got to be either PI, in which case you'd have to have R, N, and T at the end, something like this, print, or no, no. So it's got to be PR, and then, yeah, and then you can't do the N, and PRT doesn't make sense. It's got to be, it's got to be print. Okay. Now over here we got PU, which is huge. PU, um, so I'm kind of thinking something with a Y at the end. Puffy would work. Uh, could also do something with another P. Oh, puppy with a triple P would work. You could do like MP pump. I don't know if, I don't think pumpy is a word. No, pumps would work, but there's no S. Uh, can't do punk. What else could it be besides puffy and puppy? Pudgy would work too. Pudgy, puffy, and puppy, I think, are the possibilities. So, so, let's do fudge. Uh, is fudgy a word? Okay, fudgy. Fudgy. Yeah, and that'll check for pudgy and puffy. And if it's not one of those, I think it has to be puppy. Oh, it's pudgy. Okay, well, there we go. All right, pudgy. <laughs> okay. Pudgy and print. Interesting, they both start with P. Now, uh, I'm gonna move on to the chordal and use those two words. Um, those aren't gonna be terrible starting words, but not great. We only have the I and the U for vowels. Obviously, the repeated P is the worst part. Um, R, N, T, D, G, and Y are all decent decent letters, so I don't think that's terrible. It just kind of depends what the words happen to be, so. All right, pudgy and print. Ooh, ooh, okay. Well. I mean, we've got three of them with a yellow R. We definitely want to do another R uh, in, a, in a new spot. Uh, it might even be worth doing a couple of R's at this point with three of the words with yellows because the odds of, you know, all three of them having the R in the same spot are not very good. So, you know, my first thought is something like arrow, but of course we don't want to do the R second. Could do something like rears does check two new spots for the R, and I think those are both good spots for those R's. E, A, and S are all good letters. Or I could do reaps, which would check another spot for that P on the third word. Yeah, let's do reaps. Okay. Maybe should have done rears. We did get the P. We did get the P. Uh, we've got two yellow A's, so let's do a new A. Now this E... I mean, obviously I'm going to assume it's at the end. 
Uh, man, we didn't find any of the R's. That's crazy. This one down here, I'm thinking R-S-E, maybe with an O, like, uh, worse, or horse, something like that. We do have three words with the yellow S, so doing another S would be good. That's a new spot for three R's and three S's. Checks for an O, which I think is good to do. It would be nice to do the A in another spot, because we do have two A's. So the question is, are we better off doing, you know, we could do something like, oh, farce is a C-E though. Oh, farce with an S-E works as, oh, is it? Both work, apparently. I don't, I'm not sure. Interesting. It's, with, with the S-E apparently is an interpolation inserted into a liturgical formula. I don't know that one. Um, it's a vernacular paraphrase inserted into a Latin liturgy. So basically you're, you're sticking in like a sort of like a common, a common language explanation of something into a liturgy and something that's maybe uh, outdated terminology. I guess that's what it sounds like. So interesting. I didn't know that one. So farce with a C I know, but anyways, doesn't really matter. The point is farce might be better. I do like the idea of looking for the O, but we do have two words with an A already. So, I think it's probably better to look for the letters we know are in there, rather than looking for new letters. Um, there's no particular reason to do F, uh, just because it, it works, it makes it a word. <laughs> it's a decent letter. It's, harse isn't a word, is it? Nah, I didn't think so. Let's do farce, let's try it. Ooh, okay. Okay, so we found the A's, so that was good. Oh, this is not R-S-E. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Okay, uh, we still haven't found, okay, well, we, we found the R's. <laughs> we just didn't find them. We found them, though. Well, one of them. This one has to be fourth. This one has to be fourth because, I mean, that's the only place left because of the T. Now, the other one could actually be fourth or fifth. <sighs> okay, so, um, interesting up here. It's A-R-S, what's gonna come after the S? It's not an E, it's not a T, I think it's gotta be an H. Something like Marsh, or Harsh. Marsh or Harsh is what I'm thinking there. Unfortunately, the double H one is harder to check for. Uh, this is, is interesting that there's an e it's not R-S-T. I was thinking it was going to be R-S-T. Something like worst, but... It can't be. So I was thinking worst up there and worst down here, which would be interesting, but neither one of them is possible. This, all we've got is the A and the P. Something like... Can't be. Oh, there's no... Oh, we can't put... Right, right, right. So, what's going to come at the end? That's interesting, because it can't be an E, it can't be a Y, it could be an H, but something like Ralph, but there's no R. What else could come after the P? There's no S, there's no E, there's no, you can't even do a T. Otherwise, I mean, it could have like a double P, it's possible. I don't really like that though. I feel like it's gonna be an H, but then I don't know what... I don't know what that would be. Yeah, I don't know on that one. I don't know. Um, hmm. This down here, I mean, I really thought this was gonna be RSE. So the R is either fourth or fifth. It can't be, it could be something ER. It's probably something ER. Uh, maybe even S-E-R, like Poser. Poser would work. Um, Sower. We do have to have the S. Poser. Loser. Okay, so there's a lot of possibilities there with the S third, E-R, okay. I think that's pretty good. Um, hmm. <laughs> what do I want to do now? 
Okay, so that's what what is this gonna be up here? Okay, we do know where the R is, right? It's RT. And the only vowel we're gonna okay, and it has to have an O. The only vowel can be an O. So it's gotta be O uh short. Short is good there. I really like short. What else could it be? It can't be sport. I feel like it almost has to have it's not gonna be SRT, right? So what else could come before the RT? It's gotta be a vowel. So, and it has to be O, oh, cause we don't have A, E, I, U, or Y. So, so it's O, R, T. And then if you do S, O, R, T. No, so it's gotta be the S, okay, so it's S something O, R, T. Which I think has to be short, maybe. It can't be snort, it can't be sport. Uh... Scort? Is scort a word? I mean, it's a word. Is it an acceptable word? Ah, oh, it is. So a scort is like a, a, a cross between a skirt and shorts, I believe. Um, I wasn't sure if that was just considered a slang term, if it would be an acceptable word. So scort and short. I feel like scort is much less likely than short. Um... Okay, so I'm thinking short there, or scort. This has a bunch of possibilities. This is probably harsh or marsh. And this one, I just don't know. I still don't know what's going to come at the end there. So, I'm thinking about going with short. The only downside to short is, you know, it'll, it'll find the H for this word, but I'm almost for sure there's an H in this one, and it doesn't help us know if there's an H at the beginning or just at the end. And this one has so many possibilities. Hoser, poser, loser, sower, probably some other ones. Sober. Okay, I'm thinking about doing hoser because that will check for the H for harsh, and also verify, I mean, if it's not harsh and we get the yellow H, it'll verify that there is an H at the end. It'll check the H for short, as well as just verifying, I guess, that we have an O, but we have to have an O. I mean, what else could it be? But it'll check for the H for short versus scort. It is a possibility down here. If we get the yellow S, then we'll know the S, I mean, assuming we get the O, if we get the green O and the yellow S, then we'll know it's S-O, and it's gotta be sower then, or sober. Ah, sower or sober is the problem. And if we, if we get the green S and not the H, then I think it's loser. Hmm, now I'm talking myself into guessing short, because I really don't think scort is as likely to be an answer. Even though it's an acceptable word, I feel like it's it's an acceptable guess. I don't think it's likely to be one of the answers. And that lets us then check. It still lets us check for an H, for the S down here. It doesn't help with harsh and marsh is the main problem. But the benefit of that is, so here's the issue. We have five guesses left and four words. So this is our last guess. If it's not one of the answers, this is our last non-answer guess. I think short has a good chance of being an answer, which saves us one more non-answer guess, which lets us find out about a 50-50. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do howls, because this will check the H for harsh versus marsh. It will check for the O's that we think are gonna be in these two words. I still don't know what's going on over- I mean, this one I really don't know, so I'm just kinda hoping something we do on the other three will give that one to me, because I don't know. Um, so it'll check the H for Harsh and Marsh. It will also check for Sower and Loser and Hoser. And if it's not one of those three, I think it has to be Sober. I'm hoping. I'm hoping there's not another one I'm forgetting, but it'll check for all three of those. Um, now, it doesn't really do anything for us with the S, unfortunately. But it also checks the H for Short versus Scort. So I'm gonna go with that. Okay, so it's gonna be Harsh. Because it's H-A-R-S 
And what else could it be? It's gotta be harsh. Okay, it's harsh. Um, this is gonna be short. Short, okay. And then I'm gonna adjust things slightly so you can see my last couple of guesses over there. There we go. This is S-O, and it's not sower. I think it's gotta be sober. Yeah, yeah, let's go with sober. Okay, good, now what's this last one? Oh, we got nothing. We got nothing on this one. What, what in the world is this? What is after the P? That's what I can't figure out. What comes at the end? I was thinking H, it's not an H. Is it another P? Otherwise it's gotta be an A. Kappa! Kappa! The, the Greek letter. Yeah, yeah, I think it's gotta be Kappa. Oh, wow. Okay. I mean, I got that one just because there was nothing else I could think of. Um, we just ran out of possibilities. Wow. Okay, harsh, short, Kappa, and sober. Um, now, as a start for the Octortal. <laughs> not great, not great. I'm hoping there's several words with H's because we're gonna check three spots for H and R. H and R. Hopefully we have several words with H's and R's. Um, we're also gonna check two A's, two P's, two S's. So if we get words that have H's, A's, R's, P's, and S's, we should be good to go. All right, let's see. Harsh. And mm, one word has an H. One word has an H. Of course. Short. Well, we found the- ooh, okay. Well, well, okay. I shouldn't complain too much. Kappa. One word has a K, that's surprising. Sober. Okay, so, um, this does have S-H-O, which is interesting. Now, what could that be? What could that be? Um, interesting. Shown? Shown is possible. I'm actually not sure, uh, what else that could be. Oh no, there's an E! There's an E! There's an E. Woo! Okay, so, shove, shove, or shown. The other kind of shown, not W-N, N-E. Shown or shove. Yeah, it's gotta be shown or shove. So I'm sure at some point we will guess an N on one of these words, and that will give us that one. So that's good. Now this, I'm thinking S-T-A, obviously, something like stand. Could also be stain, something with an I. Uh, if you put an S at the end, it could be some other things like stags or stays. Could be stall with a double L. Okay, lots of possibilities there. This only has the S and the R. Now we've done A, E, and O for vowels. So we've got I or U, so S, it's not S, T, R. Oh, it could be S, C, R though, couldn't it? Scrum, scrum would work. Uh, otherwise I was gonna say it's probably gotta have a Vowel in there. Something like surly. Surfy? Is that a word? Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, hmm. So. The question is do we want to just. We might just want to do five new letters if we can. Uh, we could do guild. That's. That checks both of the other, I mean, it doesn't check for Y, but it checks for the U and the I. G, L, and D, I think, are all pretty good letters. Um, the downside is it doesn't, I mean, if we could do an N, then it would, you know, n tell us that we had this one. I think, I think there's only two possibilities here. So if we could check an N or a V, but N's the better letter to check, then, then we, we could kind of be guaranteed to get another one, which then might help us with the other ones, possibly. Let's do, let's do cumin. I think that's pretty good. That'll check for the N. It's still five new letters. Still has the U and the I. L would be good to get in there, but since I know one of them is a 50-50 with an N. And I think SCR over here is good. 
So, I think I'm gonna do cumin. Let's do cumin. Okay. Oh, so it's S U R. Um, mm, interesting. So, Surly is looking better there. Surfy is a possibility. I don't like Surfy as a. If I have to guess, I'm guessing Surly between. Before Surfy, for sure. This is S T. This is stain. This is stain. Um, because the A now has to be third and the T. Yep, so that is stain for sure. This has an N, so it's gonna be shown. Awesome. Um, there are two other words with N, so that was helpful. We got the U and the A. There's a T. Ooh, so... Could be... Is it... Uh, I mean, it could be something like this, but... Otherwise... So the N is either... Th it could be T-U-N. Tunga? No, I didn't think that was a thing. What would that even be? T-U-N... No. No. Or... The N could be... It could be U-N-T-A, right? I don't know what that would be either. Or... Or the N is at the beginning. I don't know what this is. I feel like I should know what this is. Hmm. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. Um... Oh! Junta! Ah, I can't remember what that is. That's- that's- it was a long time ago. That came up on a puzzle once. And I looked it up. Yeah, a junta is a military or political group that rules a country after taking power by force. So it's like... Um... Kind of like after a coup, I guess. The junta is the- the people that are in charge. I think that might- Oh man, I hate to guess a word with a J. We're not gonna guess that right now, but I'm gonna- I'm gonna remember that that might be Junta. I don't know what that is, but I remember hearing it once and looking it up. Okay. Now over here, we have the S and the E, there's an I and an N, and they can't be here. So it's either S and I, something like Snide. Uh, if otherwise it's S-I-N, and I feel like it would have to be Since, right? But it can't be since, because there's no C, so I think it has to be S-N-I. It's either Snide. Oh, Singe. Singe. Singe works too. Oh, shoot. Singe or Snide? G or D. And I was thinking about guessing Guild. But the Cumin gave us a lot too, so... Either one would have helped, I think. Okay, um... And over here, I'm thinking... Surly, maybe, or... Is Sergi a word? Oh, Sergi is a word, too. Hmm. I'm still thinking of Surly over Sergi and Surfy. Okay. This is C-A. And we have a U and a K. Ooh, this could be Cock. I think that has a really good chance of being Cock. Which would then let us check for the L. Like that. Oh, 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 we gotta look at the first word. I, I just completely ignoring this one over here. Look at this. M-E-R, there's a T and an I, and the T can't be second. This is timer. Has to be. No other possibility. Okay, which ruled out another spot for the T here, which further makes me think Junta or Junta. I don't even know. It might be Junta. I'm not really sure. And, oh, and it ruled out the I there. Okay, okay, so this cannot be Singe anymore. This is now S-N-I. I think it has to be Snide, because it's not Snipe. There's no P. Snide. Awesome. Okay. Good. The timer timer gave us the I there. Um, okay, now we found the I here. So this is A something I-R-E. Uh, a fire? A fire is pretty good. What else could that be? I think it has to be a fire, and that'll let us check for the F for Surfy, which I don't think it's gonna be Surfy, but... Is a word. Okay, good, so it's not Surfy. So it could still be Surgy or Surly. Um, we still, I mean, we still haven't found anything here to rule out Cock. This, I'm still thinking Junta, Junta, whatever, whatever it is. I don't know how to say it, and yeah. Uh, okay, okay, so so I think we should do cock, which will check the- hold on, let's let's make sure you can see all of my guesses up here. Okay. 
move that up. There we go. Okay. So I think I'm going to do cock. Because I think that's going to be right. That'll check the L to verify that this is surly. And then this, I think, has to be junta or whatever. And, you know, assuming we don't get some some surprising things. Otherwise, I mean, we really aren't going to get much information here from either one. Other than checking for an L and then a Y. Possibly a G if this ends up being Sergi. But we don't expect to get an L or a Y, so. Anyways, let's go with Cock. Okay. And it's an L, so it's going to be Surly. Very nice. And we didn't find any surprises here, so given the letters we have left... What else could it be? Alright, let's go for it. Yes! Alright, there we go. So how is that word pronounced? Let's see. Yeah, yeah, it's Junta. Okay, that's what I thought it probably was. So we have Timer, Snide, Shown, Stain. Three of them had- four of them had S's at the beginning, which is really crazy. Uh, it helped that we did short and so we, had, we guessed two words with S at the beginning, just to double check that the S really was at the beginning. <laughs> Timer, Snide, Shown, Stain, Junta, Cock, a fire, and surly. Okay, well, I'm sure a lot of people tr had trouble with junta and cock. And a fire is a bit of an interesting word, too. It's just kind of a... W it's not like weird letters, per se. It's just an unusual word, I think. You don't really use it too much. You know, you set something afire. Like, it's a word that gets used, but I don't know. Still a little bit unusual, but the rest of them aren't too bad. Surly, stain, shown, snide, timer. It definitely helped having several with... S is at the beginning, and yeah, so kind of in the same spots helps. It makes a big difference. But anyways, there you go. Let me know how you do with this Dortal, Cordal, and Octortal today. And be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Here's an interesting question. Which song has spent the most time at number two on the Billboard Top 100? Without oh, okay. making it oh, to Oh, that was really one. good. On the left. Awesome. Ballet over here. Okay, it is L and T, just like I was thinking. Now, Alf Alphabet. Alphabet. There we go. That's a good one.